This video is on um, some some pointers on Delta CAD. This Delta CAD program right here that I'm showing you is a as a CD version that I bought probably like 20 25 years ago, and I just rediscovered this program. So I wanted to give everybody a chance because I've seen I've seen other videos on on this program on on Delta CAD, but they're pretty old. So I thought I'd, I'd give you a chance to give you some updates on things that I've discovered on it. As you can see on the top here, the menu bar from select, edit, view, point, line, etc. You can see what, what layer you're in. We're in layer default right now. Um, what you can do to make this, this um, menu a little larger you can go into options and go down to tool status bar and what I've discovered here is that if you increase the size from 100% up to 150 it makes the menu quite a bit larger on that. Now you can see things. So if you, you're in the line select mode right now, so you can pick any points anywhere. You can do a, a draw a continuous line or horizontal line, vertical line, line at an angle, line perpendicular to another line or a line parallel to it. And whenever you draw it, it's going to be in the color white. The, what line type? This is not set on a continuous mode right now. And this one here is uh, thin from thin up to wide for a thickness. So let's just keep it as it is now in layer default. If we draw a horizontal line, pick any point on the screen and pull it over. Say if we the advantage of doing it horizontal is that you can just, all you need to do is put in one distance. So say if we want it 36 inches to the right, plug in 36 and enter and go view, back to view and view all. You've got the full length of the 36 inch line. These arrows here, you can zoom out to get a little bit better picture of the line. Go back to line, say if we want a vertical line. It automatically clicks on the end point of that line. You see how it applies to it or applies to each end. So if we wanted it here, click on your on your mouse or what I use is just a touchpad of the, of the keyboard. And you're going up, say if you wanted to go a foot up or 12 inch, twelve units. So I enter 12, enter. Go back to view. Zoom out a little bit. So now we've got a vertical line 12 inches high. And a horizontal line 36 inches wide. And what I'd like to do too is I'll go up here and throw in some dimensions to remind me where I'm at. So if we do a vertical dimension, click here, click there, and you can click here. But if you notice, it's way too small to see that dimension right there. You go back to view, and it's on a view window here. Click it, click it. So it shows it 12 inches, but we're set at a scale of one to one. So if we change that scale, we can enlarge that dimension size. To do that, you have to go up to um, view. Let's try this scale. Let's 
set view scale. Let's go up to like one and one and ten. We'll try another dimension here. Dimension vertical. Click there. Click there. Now it's still going to be small. 